All right, I'm Essie, you're the Reef, and have you ever wondered what it would be like to run a space hospital for aliens? Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, apparently we're going to get the chance to figure out what that would be like today as we play a game called Galacticare. That's right. Uh, I don't know much about this game other than it's free on Game Pass. That's where I discovered it. And it sounded like a pretty cool concept, similar to that of a certain evil someone if you know what I'm talking about, OGs of the channel will. So if this video reaches 10 likes, I will actually play this game uh, on stream for everybody. So make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new, if you wanna see more content just like this. But for now, let's get into it. Chapter one says, Orientation. Ooh. Let me be the first to congratulate you on your appointment. Ms. Orion and I are excited to see how you'll rise to the occasion. We're establishing our first facility right here in orbit around Earth. Ms. Orion is already on site. Let's get this thing kicked off, shall we? That sounds pretty good to me. Let's do it. Again, like I said, I don't know much about this game. Uh, I honestly do feel like it would be better suited to play it on PC, but I don't think it's on the PC Game Pass. I could be wrong, though. I didn't actually look. Because, you know, I'm professional. Ooh, chapter yes, one. Oh. Before you, and silhouetted against the green marble of Earth, is Galactic Air's newest high orbit station. And your first hospital. Mm. I'm Heal, the AP assigned to all of Galacticare's extrasolar operations. Think of me as your personal assistant, for it is my duty to assist you in all things healthcare as we strike out amongst the stars. Soon, patients from all throughout the solar system will darken our halls, bringing with them all sorts of awful maladies and excretions. Oh. Many bots on standby, Director. Okay. Before then, Ms. Orion wishes to fire the starting gun personally. I'm sure we'll be receiving a call from her any moment now. The starting gun? Yeah, and there she is. Oh, incoming calls will wait indefinitely. Take your time and answer them when you're ready to continue. Some characters may react to waiting in unexpected ways. Ah, that's interesting. Okay. The prompt at the bottom right of your user interface will answer her call. There's no rush. Contacts will wait for you to answer. I could actually just let her sit there for as long as I want to. I'm not gonna do that though. Bonjour, guten tag, moshi moshi director, and welcome to Galacticare. It's time to bring this dream of ours to life. I can't wait to see this hospital up and running. Personally, mm, oh, okay. I'm not one for all this nitty gritty stuff. I'd much rather be in the lab. So that's why you're here. Remember, if you ever feel lost, you can review your objectives in the top right corner of your interface. Take it away, Heel. Thank you, ma'am. Director, let's start with a particularly fun section. Calibrating sensors and perspective. Yes, we'll be panning, <laughs> Yes. zooming your camera. Both in and out, my dear. Thrilling stuff. Your oh, objective oh. should be displayed now. If they're not, then uh. everything is broken. And it may be simpler for you to resign. Look at us go, spinning around like a gyra. I feel vaguely ill. Now, there was something else <laughs> I was supposed to be doing. Oh, yes. There's the hospital. Patients and preventing death, profit, and so on. Very well, then. To do healthcare, we will require both a reception desk and a diagnosis room. Let's okay. first place a reception desk so that we can process patients as they arrive. I've highlighted the menu in which you will find said desk. Oh, have you? Oh, there it is. Uh, objects? Double reception desk? I might as well, huh? Uh, rotate with the bumpers? Alright, we're gonna put that shit right here. Wonderfully placed. Now all we need is a diagnosis room. Ms. Orion should be calling with the details momentarily. Okay. The diagnosis room is our patient's first step on the road to recovery. It's where we evaluate what's gone wrong with their meaty bodies. <laughs> also, tiny spinny drones come out of it, which is very cool and entirely necessary. Uh, okay. All right. Drone readout. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's okay. Get that diagnosis room up and running. If you're ever unsure what to do, select any of your objectives, and I'll help to point you in the right direction. Okay. Rooms. Diagnosis. With the room selected, you can now begin to place the blueprint. Choose a starting point, shape it to your desired footprint, and click build to confirm. Hmm. Size three by three. 
Okay, I think we're gonna put the diagnosis room over here. I don't like that. Oh, I can click and drag. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, then for now, we're gonna make it like this. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Uh, however, an empty room will not by itself facilitate the healthcare. We must first place a door and then the room's required objects. In the case of diagnosis, we need a desk and a display. Your construction display will show you simple, easy methods to improve your room's value. Potted plants are all the rage at the moment. Not my cup of tea, personally. Now, a replica of an XTC 5000 block engine. Well, my word, director, I'm near satisfaction from the thought alone. It, do not come on me. All right, we place the objects. We're gonna confirm now. Yeah, that's the diagnosis room, Benny. Now we're yeah. in the treatment room. Oh. Miss Orion will be in touch with the juicy details. All right, Miss Orion. Skin. Everyone has it, unless they have an exoskeleton or nothing at all. The that, skin lab yeah. uses proprietary chemicals to coat our patients in a gentle foam, which strips off their outsides and rebuilds them from scratch. Oh. It's relatively painless. I use the skin lab instead of a shower sometimes. That's actually pretty interesting. It's a pretty interesting concept Concept when you think about it. If you just strip away the very top layer of skin that's dirty, you won't need soap. That, I don't, now that I think about it, I don't. All right, we're going to build a skin lab. Uh, Where do I want my skin skin lab? I guess over here i don't know how big it needs to be oh three by four so one two three by one two three four right so could i put it over here in this corner i think i could or do we want to do we want to keep it kind of uniform i think we're going to keep this kind of uniform let's put it how many one two okay so one two and then we'll start here and we'll go to here and then we'll place the room door we're gonna line that up skin lab and whatever this is bam Excellent. We have our first rooms. More to come, I'm sure. However, I think there's still something missing. As we're a healthcare organization, we will need some doctors. Pop open the recruitment menu on the left-hand bar and review your various candidates. Okay, let's see these and doctors. There they are, director. You can see their name, species, and traits that are unique to them. We currently have old and human candidates, and are restricted to them for reasons which I can assure you are culturally sensitive. I'm certain you'll come to find the unique traits of the galaxy's different sapiens particularly helpful for your work. Choose a candidate when you're ready. Okay, I only need one. Grid Picard, I don't like your name. Trenchcoat Gordon, it's a pretty badass name. Davina Richmond, Noam Napoleon. Servers or Brian the Fourth, by the way, I didn't even mention his ass. Henrietta Buckfest the Eighth. Nice. Constantine McCartney. I think we're gonna go with Henrietta here. <laughs> a bit thick. Trenchcoat Jordan. <laughs> Trenchcoat Gordon is a bit thick. Eureka Trance doubled, so Trenchcoat Gordon is a little bit thick, but every once in a while she strikes absolute gold, is what that kind of tells me. I think we're gonna stick with my gut and go with Henrietta. Because yeah, she increases damage to treatment rooms, but I don't even know what that really looks like. So let's get it. You can place that newly hired doctor wherever you like, even directly in a room, which will assign it as their primary task. Well, yeah, I need another one though, don't I? Oh, we got, now we got Caravaggio, Clive's dad. The 11th, no, 12th. Drops litter everywhere? No, I don't want to hire you if you're gonna fucking put litter all over my hospital. Um, okay, then in that case, maybe we'll hire a human. Do we go with, uh, do we do it? Do we go with trench coat? You know what, trench coat? People sleep on trench coat because she's a little thick. All right, but trench coat, I believe in you. You can work in my skin lab. Your All right. Will set about their tasks in your rooms, aiding our soon-to-be patients. Doctors gain experience as they work, and more experienced doctors are, as you'd imagine, better at things. Due to capitalism, staff require payment on a regular basis. So <laughs> due to, to capitalism, and inflate your expenses. An yes, yes. Set of rooms and doctors, director, which will surely excel at treating patients. You should be commended for your ambition. Speaking of which, your legally mandated commendation, known in human society as payment, is yours to claim. Oh, cool. Look at that. Nice. We're ready to open the hospital. Let's see if we can't get our patients back to their rent pods in one piece. Okay, open the hospital. Ready to begin? Yes. And away we go. Time to treat some of these poor fellows. Patients are arriving now, Director. 
They shall scuttle about our hospital and deposit their various detritus within its once sterile halls. <laughs> what do you got going on? You look like a little broken arm. Shattered arm? Wait, that doesn't sound very good. What do you got going on? Oh man, lots of shattered arms. Are you guys left-handed? Asking for science. Oh, I have a call. The Ode are a curious bunch. Although they're all clones, they revere old age, competing with each other to see who can live in any one body the longest. Uh -oh. Once they retired from their dreams of galactic empire, they developed an odd fascination with humanity. It began with crop circles and cow abductions and ended up in appropriating ah. the most problematic parts of 1950s Earth culture, surf rock, and traditional gender roles. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Humans, we love them. They are us, sometimes. Not always, though. Humans are a lot of things. And one of those things is that they're social beings. They'll improve our influence whenever they complete treatments. Also, mm. they've accidentally engineered a dystopia where corporations have become kingdoms. So that's great. Ah, uh, sorry. That's a conversation for another time, I guess. Oh, man. That's a reality we're quickly moving towards in real life. I don't appreciate you bringing light to that. Devs in the video game that I'm trying to use to escape from that harsh reality. Uh, it appears we've received a patient with a shattered arm. Oh. Let's inspect them and see if we can't mend their appendage. Yes. Let's inspect. Whoa. What? Boning chamber required? Boning chamber? I'm done. Behold the patient panel. I've highlighted the condition track. This fellow's condition requires them to be reboned, and for that, we'll need a boning chamber. The boning chamber, a retrofitted mining machine, which chomps fresh minty new skeletons directly into our patients. An assistant engineer fitted the schematic with internal cameras for personal reasons. That'll teach me to poach staff from Salazan. Anyway, that's all fixed, and it's mostly safe. Mostly. No, we, we need to discuss about what that woman did to my floor. Okay, yeah, I... The boning chamber. <laughs> Stop A calling it that. Room indeed. Stop. I do rather admire the machine in there. Rather charming, actually. Uh, I call him Harold. I'm the foggiest idea why. Don't. Stop calling it a boning chamber. I don't like that. All right. Uh, we need this to be four by four. So that should be enough. Edit room. Let me move this over so that way I can confirm that. Move these guys to be right here. Look at that. Now we're looking like a put together hospital. Let's you unpause. Find running short on space in our initial hospital area. You can expand to other nearby areas by selecting them and paying a small fee. Uh, to whom I'm I'm not sure. Well, now that we've got a few treatment rooms up and running, let's talk about keeping our staff and patients happy. Let's inspect one of our doctors to grasp the full extent of their needs. Hold on, I'm building benches so people can sit. Anyway, what? Inspect the doctor? Oh my back! Through the <laughs> Oh gosh, my back. Now every single time I'm going to talk about Henrietta, I have to talk like this that. Is their mood. Oh gosh, my back. If their mood gets too low, they may simply leave. You can uh -huh. see various thoughts and feelings impacting their mood here. For example, witnessing the death of a patient may result in a degree of momentary sadness. Physical needs like hunger and energy are fulfilled by vending machines, staff lounges, toilets, and so on. By the looks of things, this individual needs to unwind in a staff lounge. Well, let's give her some decorations in here. All right, she's gonna tell me about the staff lounge now. This one's pretty straightforward. It's a staff lounge. Staff will go in there and lounge. There's a fire pit in everything. Oh. We considered a mindfulness cue, but people found the idea nightmarish. So they get this instead. I don't get it. I love the cube. I'll go in there sometimes just to scream at the walls. Great de-stressor. 
I can see how that might be a good de-stressor. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Lounge, lest our employees descend into absolute madness. We should also ensure we provide <laughs> both staff and patients with places to sit, uh, something to eat, and toilets in which they may relieve themselves. I already got the toilets covered, my dude. There we go. <clears throat> Did the staff room. That took me way longer than I wanted it to. But there we go. Now they have a place to rest and relax. All right, so now we need to place vending machines, which are here. Do the X-Pulse and Toxin. And we need bins. I think it looks pretty cool. The required facilities have been installed and the number of organics who've relieved themselves in the hospital has slipped under the bar for legal concern. Bravo, Director. You have provided everything organics need for a state of mild comfort. Sure, okay. Claim rewards, let's do it. Director, it's time to meet your marginally useful maintenance. This is a Medibot. They've been purchased at low cost and reprogrammed to maintain our equipment and clean up various forms of vomit. The robot is waving. Medi, are you waving? Are you waving your awful little hands? Hey! It appears that Medi wishes to speak to you. Uh, not to worry, I doubt it has much to say. Hello, new director. It's me, Medi. Heel says I'm a toaster, and that I might actually be useful if I was dropped in someone's bathtub. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Yes. Uh, that comment is slightly off out of context, director, but you may rest assured that Medi has no clue what's going on. Well, I guess so. Also, he'll keep saying I'm a fake boy, and being programmed to imitate humanity is a disgrace. He's my best friend. Mary, you don't have any friends because you're not real. Of course I do. Because you're my friend. And so is this giant creature who's about to eat the station. What? Me. What in the world is going on? Hello there. What the f What the fuck? Uh... Okay, Heel. It's just a really big alien. First of all, Medi, it's a colossal. Secondly, please refrain from use of the term alien in reference to non-human sapiens. Director, the alien is somehow hailing us, though not on any identifiable frequency. It's almost as though it's directly pushing buttons inside the station's systems. In the absence of any better ideas, perhaps it's best to uh, pick up the phone. Okay. I will pick up the phone if this video gets to 10 likes. So if you enjoyed this and you want to see more of Galactic Air, be it in video form or on stream, like the video. If it gets to 10 likes, I'll think about whether or not I'm going to continue it in video form or play it on stream. Okay, sound good to you? So do all the things, subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new. I've been Essie, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.